Hey guys, it's Chiran in this episode of What's in My Pack. Here's my pack. I'm going to be talking about the Thermarest Sea Light. I ended up using a Thermarest Sea Light as a second um, pad, mostly a sleeping pad, um, on the Pacific Crest Trail in 2019. So it was really um, windy and snowy and rainy on the PCT that year. So um, I added this to the mix when I entered the Sierra. So it was my second pad, but it was also extremely useful for other things. Like if I wanted to take a break and sit down, this was also my six pad. Um, and if I was like kneeling to put stuff in my tent and all of that, I would use this as well. And it just came in handy so many times that I never got rid of it. I never put it in a hiker box. I kept it throughout the whole trail and I still have it to this day. One of the reasons why I didn't mind adding this to the mix and adding a little bit of weight um, is because it is so lightweight. Um, and this is in particular a torso pad. So it's not as big as the full size um, Z light pad. So um, I didn't really mind adding weight. Um, because it came in um, very handy in so many ways and it also kept me warm um, when I was sleeping at night in the snow. <laughs> um, so really great and I actually found this in a hiker box in Bishop so I didn't even have to pay for it um, but the price is pretty reasonable if you want to go um, this route. So like I said um, this was my second pad and um, Part of the reason why I kept carrying it throughout the trail is it is extremely lightweight. It's just foam. So um, loved how light it was um, and very easy to carry. Keep in mind if you want to go this route, um, if you only went with the Z-Lite to sleep on, I'm not sure if it would keep you warm enough. It just depends on how hot or cold you run at night. Um, it wouldn't have kept me warm enough most likely. So um, I went with this underneath uh, um, inflatable pad myself but if you run hot maybe this would be enough for you um, and that way you could save weight by not bringing an inflatable pad but that's totally totally subjective and totally up to you one thing to keep in mind with the z-light is um, I could only store it on the top of my pack um, which was no big deal it just kind of like um, brushes up against things sometimes but that wasn't really a big deal because this thing is durable so um, wasn't a big deal I couldn't put it in my side pocket in particular on my hyperlight but maybe maybe other packs would accommodate for that um, but that's just something I noticed I couldn't really do um, was put it you know anywhere on my pack on the sides or on the front I had to put it at the top of my pack so there you have it um, 10 out of 10 recommend the Thermarest Z light oh I'm holding it upside down <laughs> the Thermarest Z light um, if you want to add a little bit of warmth to your sleep system and have something really versatile to use um, around camp and while you're having lunch etc